Good day YouTube, here we are. We're gonna continue our game engine series and we're gonna make our GitHub repository in this one. So let's name our game engine mini engine mini engine for now. Sorry. Just a game engine. Yep. Readme file license MIT. And yes, that's all. Let's just clone this. Okay, done. Now we can open this folder. I mean, create a new project, a Visual Studio project for now in this folder. Okay, let's name this mini engine for now. I mean, and there we have our game engine. It doesn't do anything right now. So I like my files all of my project code in a folder called src which is which just stands for source and then in a new folder i like all the core functionalities of the project so the first thing that we need is some entry point for our game engine and for that we can make a cpp file and we can call this entry point okay and in this entry point we're not doing anything right now we're just calling main and returning zero and that's all it does for now nothing else well now let's start by making a game engine and we can make a class for this we can call it engine like this is our base engine and after it's made i have to move it there this is a bug with visual studio i don't know and in the engine.h file we I don't like this pragma ones. I like this if not defined thing better. So if not defined engine .h, we define engine, and here we end our if statement. And for simplicity, I like to put everything under a namespace. So to avoid conflicts, and it's just better. So everything is going to be under the namespace called mini engine and this is our engine class a little sweet class does nothing for now but how should engine work we need something that we can call like what it should run right we should call run it runs and it should have private members i mean functions like initialize okay and if the initialization is false we should be able to return the state if the initialization was successful or no that's why we're using booleans and we can have our cleanups which is just called when we want to destroy our game engine so let's just include that and use our same namespace here and let's implement all of these functions the the entry point will call run for us and we will say if not initialized that means we had some problem with initialization it returned false for some reason we can just throw an exception pretty simple and if it initializes we can just call the run loop i mean the render or the run loop whatever uh let's just have this uh run loop doesn't sound that good of a name let's have this called render loop because engine is putting out things so let's call this render loop and to have something running and for us to be able to stop it if we want we need a state so we're gonna have a boolean called m running which is by default is going to be true because when we initialize the engine it should be running okay so in the run we firstly say initialize and then we say render loop okay and it renders everything for us and here we can say while m running is true just keep on rendering or keep on running the engine and if for some reason our 
m running is false, we can just call cleanup and break from this function. And break from this loop, I mean. So this is all about this game engine right now. And in our entry point, we can just include this engine file. And we can include ice cream if you want to print something. We're going to try to run this engine. And if it throws any exception, we're going to catch it. And if we encounter a failure, we need to return a failure state and not a success state. And to make things clear, we're not going to use zero, but uh, exit success macro, which just means zero. And this just means one. So this is our game engine for now and it should work let us see we make a game engine it initializes it says fail to initialize engine we can, okay it returns false for now <laughs> okay you see we just have to say let's just have the outs for here okay this initialize the engine and the cleanup cleans it. Okay, so now we have an engine starting point and we can call it from main and the engine works, but we need to show a window. And that's why we're gonna make a new class, just a header file. And we're gonna call this windows, window, or maybe win mini window because it fits the scheme of things. And it's just the same things. So this is our mini window class. Now, we need some properties of the window, like the size of the window, like dimensions and the name of the window to supply to the Win32 or the X11 API. So it shows in the title the name of the window, like it shows in some other window, like mini engine, you see that thing. For that, we're going to make a structure and we call it window properties. Well, including memory should resolve this nice. We're going to name our engine mini engine for now. I mean the title window and uh, our width and height. We can just have them as, mm, let's see, 800 by 600. Well, this is our window window structure and uh, yeah now let's make our window class so we can have uh, the structure and i'm keeping this virtual because our object types are gonna be of the derived classes and i want to make sure that their destructors get called so that's why i'm using a virtual destructor because this is just going to be an abstract class. It's just going to, like, it's not going to do anything. It just stays and it can be derived. And we have these functions, like, on update, it gets called every frame. On draw, you can call it if you want to draw something to the screen, to the window, I mean. And on close, when the window closes. And then we can also get the height and the width of the screen. So we can just say get swerved. And we're saying const here because we're not changing the uh, the member variable that are, we are receiving in this function. And it just returns that as is. And this one thing, this is gonna be a static function called which returns a unique pointer of this mini window type so you see i'm trying to create a window like this it takes uh window properties of course and for now we can just have it to default the constructor of this and that is how we're gonna work with this now we're done with our core folder uh, i told you earlier that we're gonna have two platforms so let's have a folder for platform based code well, let's type platforms and we can make one folder for windows and here we can have a class 
which is Windows window, which derives from this window class. And it's gonna be the same thing here. And we're gonna include that uh, Windows class and we're gonna just derive from that. Now we need to implement all of these things from this window class. And let's take this. Yeah. And let's have it here. Build the destructor. We're not doing anything here. You can just leave it as it is. But we need a constructor this time. And it actually makes a window for us. We're not gonna make the window right now. We're just gonna print hello. And we're gonna do all of those window creation things in the next video to keep this video short. So I say this because I don't want uh, the code to be able to make another window based on another window because this is a Windows window and we have many things like edge instance, edge wind, and I'm not sure if that thing can just reference. So I'm just going to delete this kind of constructor and also the operator relating to it. Okay, I hope that helps. And now we have to just implement all of these functions so i like writing override instead of just writing the function name without the virtual because then it's more clear that it's an override function and these are all the public things we don't need this we just have to define this and here what we need is a thing for us to store all of the data of the window right we can just have a window data here a structure that holds all of the window data that it copies from here and it can alter later when we resize the window and when we get the height and the width and we just return these things here okay and then let's just use view in 32 so this is just gonna return our window height and the next thing is gonna return our window width now we have to implement all of these things in our source file so namespace well how nice we also need to do that one thing which we said was the create thing right this thing because we're gonna call this and it's gonna create a windows window instance for us so let's just put it somewhere here not gonna use a static again just and ignore this because it was already done we just make a unique pointer of our windows window type i hope you understand what i'm doing with this and uh, here we can just like initialize the properties i mean initialize the window and uh, it says this because m data stays initialized so we have to initialize m data and i'm gonna make another function for this which is like initialization for the window and let's have another private modifier i like to have two of these one for the member variables and one for the member functions so initialize and uh, as usual, we can have a bool if it fails to initialize. So let's just do that. And we say we return true for now. But if something uh, gets, if something gets, if something Fs up while we're making the window, then we can just return false and then our program, then game engine can just close. It doesn't take anything for now. We need it to supply with these props okay so we're gonna call it with and here it can just copy all the data for now that's all we care about okay and this is all our window does right now and the on update on draw nothing the window is not uh we have not created a window in our engine so let's do that so we're gonna include a window okay and which windows we want to include we'll define a macro for it if we're using a windows platform or if you're on a linux platform 
and we're gonna use CMake for all of those things. I'm not gonna get into the details of that for now. Let's just keep it simple and make a Windows window, okay? So we have a window and in our, we need a constructor. And in here we can just initialize our M window to be our Windows window create. And it should create a window for us. And while we are running, let me go here. While we're in the render loop and it runs, we can just call M window on update. And in the on update, we have this one thing and we can just print for now to make sure everything works correctly. Let's see if it does. Well, it doesn't, of course, we have some errors. And uh, let's see. What are the errors? It returns a unique, it returns a unique pointer of mini window. And, oh yes, 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 I forget this. We, we were in this mini window namespace, wait, sorry. That was the problem. And now we say that windows on update just gets called. And we can check in windows on update if the user just give the input n, the window, the game engine should just close. But we cannot do that from here. We can just return from here and then, yeah, that's a thing for later. But the game engine as of now, we have some little things. And if we let's go to the folder, we have a mini engine folder. We have the SRC X64. We don't need any of this. These are all the files that have been generated using Visual Studio. We just need this SRC folder. And so I'm just gonna cut this and I'm gonna paste it here. And I'm gonna delete this, uh, rip Visual Studio. Because the next time what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a CMake file that generates the project for us and all of that thing. And uh, so we're just gonna commit this. Okay, all this RC file, let's just add that. Let's say added entry point. And let's push this. So now in the next one, we're gonna have uh we're gonna have so many things like a cmake file that can make a project for us and we're also gonna have a windows window open 32 window so thank you so much for watching and wish you all a good day and take care guys